Hawaiian Christmas day. That's the island greeting that we sent to you from the land where palm trees sway. Aloha and welcome to Betty's Real Estate Corner brought to you by Sakamoto Properties where prestige is our business, reputation our foundation. If anybody doesn't already know it, that was Danny Couch singing Meli Kalikimaka. He has a fabulous Christmas album, probably a couple of them. Everybody should get it because you will love it for the next hundred years. Well today in the studio I have Elizabeth Quayle here who's one of our best agents and she's going to share quite a bit of information and in addition my husband Roy Sakamoto is here so we're going to have a lot of fun we want to talk a little about holidays Christmas the things that we think we could all be doing that might help one another through you know a stress-filled holiday season because no matter how much fun it is it is still stress-filled so Elizabeth a little quick hello Hello, and uh, to everybody. I am a Sakamoto sandwich as we speak, and <laughs> thrilled to do so. <laughs> and yep. Roy? Good morning, Merry Christmas, Mele Kalikimaka, and uh, I think we're going to have a great, exciting show. I think it is going to be. It's going to be a fun day. We've got a variety of different ideas to talk about. We want to talk a little about land in Maui and what it takes to get in right now and buy, whether it's the low end of the market or the top of the market, and build your piece of paradise to live in full time and raise your children or because you're retiring and you decide that you want to live in Maui. And we're seeing people retire at a lot of ages, you know, not just 65. We see a lot of people here in Maui that for a variety of reasons, they're able to come here for an early retirement, and that's really a lot of fun, but it's more fun when we see someone building their dream house to raise their family, and that's really pretty great. Elizabeth has some information for us on an end of the market that we haven't been talking about as much, but I think that she's had a lot of fun this year selling properties to people who aren't looking for the top of the market, but they may be a second home buyer, and they just want to buy something so they have a little piece of paradise but their budget is a little restrained. What, what are some of those properties, Elizabeth? Well, uh, in West Maui in particular, you do have limited, more affordable inventory. So um, for those people that are accustomed to being on that particular side of the island, um, you really do have some pretty great opportunities. All the way from as affordably as 40,000 for a one bedroom leasehold in the Pili. Um, to a direct ocean front down at Lahaina Shore is a studio in the mid 300,000s. We've got properties like the Maui Kai, which is a great little boutique property in North Kanapali Beach, direct ocean front, one bedroom in the mid 500,000s, uh, up to Royal Kahana, studios up in the mid 200,000, two bedroom penthouse, um, two bath, two bedroom, two bath in the mid fives. So within a 10 mile area, you can go all the way from spectacular Kapalua and Kanapali and spend millions and still stay in West Maui and spend substantially less. So you have a, a pretty good variety of choices. Last year you probably had a few more steals than you do this year, but they're still out there. So if you've been waiting and looking, this is definitely the time to uh, start searching because we do have a limited inventory. You know, an end result of what the steals are, I think there are properties today that are a steal. And you may not realize at this minute, but a year from now, two years from now, from now, anything you're buying right now will be classified as a steal. So get in there while you can because it's, it's going away really quickly. Roy, you were thinking about some of the properties right now not just the plantation, but the plantation or a variety of other places where somebody is going to be building right now, or homes, but I just think we talked a little about uh, the plan to build today. Right. And, but I'll say this, you know, as far as inventory, uh, there's over 500 properties in escrow on Maui right now, over 550, I think. And uh, yeah, I think the, so. the trend is definitely, I mean, the market is, has turned. If you're waiting for the market to bottom out, you're too late. 
It's, uh, it's gone. We're headed back up. Slowly, but we are headed back up. And uh, uh, before we get into land and so forth, how do people get a hold of you, Elizabeth? Well, the best way to reach me is uh, on my cell phone direct, of course, 808-276-6061. Sakamoto Properties always has somebody in the office that's readily available to find me as well, and that number is 808-669-0070. We're all pretty easy to reach. Very yep. easy, and our website is sakamotoproperties.com. You can hit on our website and uh, look at Elizabeth's listings, look at our uh, listings for all of our office, and contact either one of our salespeople. They're all listed on our website, and again, sakamotoproperties.com. And uh, office number, 669-0070. Before okay. we get into real estate, you know, we always do a little public service announcement. And, uh, you know, we're coming towards the end of the year. It's the, uh, it's the time, it's the season for giving. There are a lot of nonprofits, needy nonprofits here on Maui. And they range from the Boy Scouts, the Girl Scouts, the Boys and Girls Club, uh, Holly Makua, the Hospital Foundation. I mean, you name it, there's many, many worthwhile charities here on Maui. And they all need our donation dollars. And so uh, we can write it before the end of the year and get a tax write-off for 2012. And so I urge uh, all of you out there to go ahead and contribute whatever you can to your favorite charity. We're, whether it's $5, $100, whatever it is, it'll come in handy. Keep in mind, when, when we're all talking about that, that between this year and next year, federal funding is down and probably will be down more. We need to take care of our own. You know, so whether it's Maui or anywhere in the world, it's more critical than ever that we all step up and make donations to charities like these. And, uh, and we do get to write it off. At least today we do. And I think that's going to be fabulous for us. So, but we need to take care of our own. Don't you think that's really a key? We live in a place where everybody matters. We live in quote unquote near Mayberry, and everybody, everybody is a person here. Everybody gets attention, and they deserve it. Absolutely. I was going to mention also things like women helping women. Yes. Oh, definitely. Because, I mean, if you're a professional and you're cleaning out your closet, there are women out there who really need a job and would love to have something nice for their first interview. And that's going to help them and their children and their neighbors. Everything touches everyone. So there isn't anything that's too little, and we all really need to pay attention to contributing in any way that you can. You know, Elizabeth, what you just said, I read something a while ago that was directed to women more like we are, and I think it's time we all heed this. We all have things in our closet that we're not wearing, and probably the reality is we're never going to wear, but they're in great shape and we hang on. Those are the things right now that we should donate to somebody today, whether it's to an individual we know looking for a job, or women helping women, or big brothers, big sisters, wherever it is, because while they're still in really great shape, then it's really giving, you know, versus waiting until it's sat in the closet so long it's got spots on it. Yeah. So don't you think, I mean, let's, yeah. let's all do that. And we'll donate our husband's things, too. Oh, yeah, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> no, absolutely. No question. And what about our trip to Shanghai, though? We, do, we just got oh, back from yeah. Shanghai a couple of weeks ago. Actually, a week ago. Yeah. Yeah. It's been... Yeah. You jet setters. Yeah. But it was it was pretty amazing and you know, as I looked there, I mean there was there's so much to say about it, but one of the things that struck me when I saw poverty there and people who were hurting, it struck me that the difference between our society, Maui and almost anywhere in our country, is that there is something, there is some place for these people. And whether it's because we all help with funding these charities or our government has worked strongly, whether it's the federal or the state or the counties, to see to it that people get something, you know, that they don't have to be begging on streets. And I think that it is vital. But having said that little thing, we were in Shanghai a year ago and a week later, and now it was a week earlier in December, and Christmas is everywhere. 
everywhere, don't you think, Roy? Well, the country has changed, no question. And uh, we last year at the airport was the first time we were aware that Christmas music was playing. And uh, this year, this year, I mean, it's everywhere, apartment stores along along the street. I mean, it was great. Good. And so. You know, the main purpose of our, our trip to Shanghai was to establish some marketing contacts, uh, which I think will, will help us in our business and so forth. But as a little aside, we learned more about the society there. And uh, the middle class is getting stronger. Um, democracy, I think, is on the rise. It's still a communist country in China, but uh, democracy is definitely on the rise. and. Uh, Christmas is a good example. I mean, look at uh, look at Christmas from a year ago to today. That was uh, it was really quite a visit, and I'm thrilled that we were able to do that. And it did give me a whole different perspective on which anything like that does make you realize how lucky we are. You know, another quick thing about Christmas and things that we can do to help. You know, we we all think on these big levels. At least most of us do. Well, maybe. Someone might think, well, I can't give because I don't have any money, I don't have this, I don't have that. And we can do the things we just said. But also, very simply, almost all of us could give something in our neighborhood to our neighbors, to a child. You know, we could help someone that needs, uh, needs to go Christmas shopping or has some appointments, you know, that we could just dedicate over the holidays, giving a little bit of our time. Maybe it's we go read to some children or or come to Halimakua and read to some of the elderly people or a school. I mean, you could think of a hundred things that we could all do if we just stepped up and tried to help, not give money, whatever it is. There's so much that we can all do. We are one big ohana, so uh, we take care of ourselves and let's take care of our neighbors also. Well, let's all remember that because Elizabeth said that first today and I think it's Mayberry. I mean, if we all really see to it that we are nice to one another, you know, through the holiday season when we're all crazy, I'm sure I've said this to everybody, I said it last year on the radio show, but I think a huge thing would be just spread aloha, spread Merry Christmas. Remember in the grocery store when the person in front of you was saying, you know, back in Oshkosh, I only pay 25 cents for that and it's two dollars here. You know, if you just kind of talk to them and wish them a special Merry Christmas and say, well, that's our life here, but we're lucky we live Hawaii, so we're okay. And But just be happy, be friendly, say Merry Christmas, say aloha, and spread the aloha. There isn't anywhere that I personally can go on this island, and you probably <laughs> are totally there, that you don't run into somebody that you know. You can be in line anywhere, and you're going to get a hug because you're going to see somebody you know. And that is so incredibly important to me, my family, and yes. one of the main reasons I moved here. It is a very family-oriented environment, and we are a great example to the rest of this country. I, th Seriously. I think you are absolutely right. Go to Costco. You probably are going to get eight hugs before you get through the door just about. You know, go to Safeway, wherever it is that we all go and we all spend our time racing through. Most of us at least take that moment when we see a face that we know to, to give a hug, you know, to stop for a minute, to say Merry Christmas. Well, let's expand that group. Let's expand it. The three of us and everybody listening, expand that group of people that you say Merry Christmas, Aloha to and the Christmas spirit will be alive and well. Well, and everybody you touch, not only does it make you a happier person, it could change their day. It Absolutely. could change, you know, just a hug and a smile, much less a giant hug and a big smile. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> well, so do we want to do any more real estate here? Well, sure. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Good. We were talking about uh, vacant land and so forth, ready to build on. And we've got some right at the plantation golf course. The plantation in about a week and a half, two weeks, will be the site of the Hyundai Tournament of Champions. And uh, tour winners, the PGA Tour winners from 2012 will be there in mass. Uh, I think there's commitments from 30 of the professionals. So uh, it should be a fun time at the plantation. And around the plantation golf course is the plantation estates. <coughs> 
And these are minimum two acre sized lots. Uh, many of these lots have already been built on. Uh, we do have some of the homes for sale. But there's also some vacant parcels, vacant land parcels that are available. And they start from a million two or 2.9 acres. Awesome view, great views, uh, Lanai, Molokai, sunsets between Lanai and Molokai up the channel uh, all year round, just, uh, just awesome. That's some, a million two for uh, just under three acres. One heck of a buy, I think. You know, one that I think is also a fabulous buy based on the size of the lot. It's 4.39 acres listed at 3.9 million. Huge, mostly flat, adjacent to the 17th tee at the Plantation Golf Course. And one of the keys, I think, as you and I talked coming over, Roy, is that today there's a lot of contractors that are ready, able, have their, their men in line ready to start a house. You know, so that there's some fabulous architects that are ready to work with you. Um, Dennis Harmon, who has an office right next to where we are in Napili, I think he's fabulous. He's also done a lot for his community. He's done some fabulous things for Lahaina Luna High School. He's built some unbelievable homes. And I would say that he's ready to step up and help you build your plantation home or any home. And there's other, I mean, I'm just throwing someone out because I saw him this morning. But I think that everybody, the architects, the builders, everybody right now is ready to work. I think you can build a house for less money than ever, and it's time to do it. Great time to be talking to architects and builders. And, uh, you know, what else do we have at the plantation, though? I mean, this, this almost five-acre lot is, is fantastic. It's the most buildable lot, easily buildable lot by far. Uh, a good four acres of it has to be flat and uh, just ready to build on. And this is one that's up above the clubhouse here, correct? Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's behind the gates, uh, right next to the 17th tee. So you'll be able to see it on television when the, the tournament is televised. Well, and another thing about construction in Hawaii is you're not restricted by snow. And, and you know, yes. occasionally you may have a three-day uh, blessing of rain, but generally that isn't going to hold up getting your piece of paradise completed. So no, there's ab absolutely. Yeah. No, somebody can start now. I mean, again, you're going to have the process of getting the home put together, you know, getting your architect and getting uh, permits in place, etc. But you can really be moving along quickly. You can get somebody working fairly quickly on the land and what needs to be done. So I think it's, you know, nowhere else in the or almost nowhere in the world, let's say. Do you have the weather that we have here? So when you're ready to build and that's what you choose to do, you can pull it off in a hurry. You just need to get the right people as alongside you, the right architect, contractor, and we can help you in a lot of that, you know, pointing you to people, getting appointments set up for you so that you can interview people. You know, so when you're ready and you're buying your land from us, we'll see to it that we can help you in every possible way. Yes, and again, our phone number is 669-0070, our website, sakamotoproperties.com, and to reach Elizabeth directly, her, her number is... 276-6061, and I just wanted to kind of add a little something about the building and the inventory. If you look down at Lani Keha and Lani Opoko and you know, move up the coast, you are seeing these lots which have really been sitting vacant for a few years really come out gangbusters and it's just fantastic to see. Oh, some what's of the happening. Build, yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. The homes are fabulous, the locations are incredible, and uh, it's a dream. It's a fabulous dream that we all get to live. You know, another one, the, um, the coffee farms, Katapali Coffee Farms, we have some listings at Lani Keha. We had some people recently that bought a coffee farms lot that I think is really fabulous. And they still have, you know, the developer lots are still available. I think the prices are substantially lower than they were early on. You know, we've got a, a listing in, uh, let's see, we've got Con Conopley Golf Estate, 695. Uh, Lani Keha, I know there's some great prices. I don't have the whole list with me. 
Con uh, Conopoly Hillside, I think there's still one lot. Plantation, yeah. or, um, Pineapple Hill. We're forgetting Pineapple Hill. You know, it's around a million two, I think is the best, right. the only, one of the only listings in there. There's only two for sale. But again, you can build, it's time to do it. One more about uh, land. We do have a one big parcel of country, uh, just under 3,300 acres. It, uh, it goes up to just shy of the observatory on the very top of Haleakala. And that's uh, 3,300 acres, and we have it listed at $17,500,000. One unique parcel, very unique. You know, that one is called Erewhon Ranch, which is actually Erewhon Nowhere Backwards. And it's a, there's an older Tudor home on it that is really one of the most amazing homes. It's old, and I'm sure it's got uh, tons and tons of problems, but it is one of the sweetest, neatest homes on this island. And I don't know if at this point someone's ever going to figure out uh, rebuilding it or if it'll just come down. but. If somebody's buying that, it is something yeah. really worth seeing. We've actually had a couple of people looking at the parcel and uh, thinking about restoring the home. So hopefully that happens. I would love to see that happen. Right. I would love it. Now, does that back up to conservation land or? Yeah, the top uh, 1,100 acres is uh, is zone conservation, and uh, actually we've got wild silver sword plants up there. Beautiful. Uh, a Hawaiian geranium plant that only. They thought only grew on the slopes of uh, uh, mountains in Chile, and um, so we've got some wild habitat up there, very unique. Venison? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For my hunting husband and sons. <laughs> it's to, I, yeah. My understanding is the property starts at around the 4,000 foot elevation and goes up to about the observatory at the top of Haleakala. Is that about right, Roy? Yes, yeah. yes, exactly. Yeah, I was kind of just trying to look through some of this so we could give someone uh, additional information. Good. Okay. Now coming back to say Lahaina Shores, what uh, what's happening at the listing at Lahaina Shores? It's oceanfront and it's a studio. We have Unit Two Thirteen. Betty has co-listed with me. It is a studio, a direct oceanfront. Really, um, if you were somebody that wanted to go in there and spruce it up. You could do so quite easily, and the location will never change. Uh, they have a great on-site management uh, program there with Classic Resorts, who also manage the Kanapali Ali'i. They do a fabulous job. Um, you have just your oceanfront, you're in West Maui, you're on the water. So. Absolutely. <laughs> that is a fabulous property, and you're right. I mean, it will probably, somebody will do some upgrading in order to keep it rented more. But for right now, you could walk in there with your toothbrush and it would be pretty great. Absolutely. You know, we are quickly here winding down. We've got to be at one, our one minute warning has come up. Okay. So I think let's all think about what we've got to say. Maybe it's a Christmas message, maybe throw something out. Maybe Roy, what have you, what have you got for Well, my final? Christmas message is, uh, is be kind to one another, Merry Christmas to all, and again, Remember our local nonprofits, our local charities, in this time of need, and next year is going to be an even needier year for our charities uh, with the tax revisions and so forth. So remember, you know, five dollars, a hundred dollars, whatever you can afford, or maybe it's just a matter of volunteering uh, 15 minutes a week or whatever you can to these charities. Well, I think we have, you want to say real fast goodbye there? Goodbye and smear as much lipstick on anybody's face that you can over the holidays. <laughs> okay, we came well up with that today. We've got Danny Couch back with our Meli Kalikimaka. And Meli Kalikimaka to all of you. And thank you for having me. Merry You're Christmas. Welcome. Merry Christmas. Christmas.